Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. I'm here with the Rico D5500 interactive whiteboard. We're here in our event space and I'm going to run through some of the features for you. This is a uh, interactive whiteboard, so you can come into it from several boards can be connected together, up to four. Uh, you can connect them remotely, so you could have somebody here in New York City, you could have somebody in California, you could all be sharing the same information. You could be standing in front of your boardroom, you know, working with this thing. So it's a 1920 by 1020 screen. It's made out of Gorilla Glass, so it's nice and tough, and it comes with this interactive pen. So I'm going to run through how to go through some of the, the basic setup here. So obviously it's a whiteboard, so when I click the pen application, here I can select my color, I can change my background, let's say do a grid, and I can check my line thickness. So I can write things on here, like Rico. Uh, from here, I can zoom in if I want. And when I do that, then I can, you know, let's say change the pen a little bit, and I can make a note down here. Say, I'll write Rico again. I'm going to come back to it. It's nice and clear. You can see it right here on the screen. So also the back side of the pen is an eraser. So I can erase that if I didn't want that. And, or I can use the eraser end to select and move parts of the, parts of the image. So let's erase that. So that's fine when you're making presentations. What makes this really cool is you can import into this images. So I have a USB memory stick in the back and I've got here an image of our latest ad that we're going to do for our, our event we have today uh, right after I finish this in the space. So right here the designer sent me this. If I want to look at it, I can blow it up. I can make annotations to it. Like if I wanted to change the time, it's two to six here, but let's say that we decided to make it run longer, so we're going to go till 8. I can circle that and write 8 p.m. And then I can come back down. And essentially from here, if I'm interacting and they can see it from the other side, they can see what I'm doing right away. If I want to send them the file, I can then come over here and I can save it either back to my USB memory stick and give it to them, or I can save it temporarily on the whiteboard. If I'm going to do that, it requires a passcode to come in here. So this, this keeps it very secure for business applications if you have to Let's say take a break from your meeting and you're going to leave the room. You can, you can lock down your files, save it temporarily to the board. Now, if anybody wants to access this, they're going to hit this part here and hit import. And when you hit the temporary save folder, it's going to require you to put in the passcode before it even shows you any of the files. So I'll put in my passcode. And it's going to tell me what's saved on the board and the time that I saved it. So let's say it's that one. And they're up here. So I've got all my saved items down at the bottom. I can flip through my different screens. There's nothing there. This is the screenshot I made of my PC earlier, which goes to the next point. This can interact with a PC. So the, the machine itself has on it the software. You, you plug your PC into it. You, you log into it as a server, and you download the software onto, onto your PC. Okay, so once you've, you've started the software in your computer, it's going to require you to put in the passcode, which you get from the board. So just somebody on your network can just log in. They have to have access to the board itself to be able to get the passcode, which changes every time you restart the board. So I hit connect. And now I'm, I'm logging in. So now this is actually my computer screen. So anything you do here, you're actually doing on the computer. So basically, if I, if I you know, set it up my desktop background, I mean, I go, whatever you want to do, you want to open Photoshop, you can actually edit from here using the computer right there live in front of you. So this right here is showing that I'm connected to the PC. I can actually go back to my whiteboard itself if I want, to anything that we looked at, and I can jump back to the PC as well. So the other thing you can do when you're connected to your computer is once you have this up, because remember now I'm working on my computer, so if I, if I draw on this with the pen, it's not actually affecting the computer right now because I'm in the pen mode, but if I want to save this, I can make a screenshot, and it's going to bring it now to the whiteboard. So now this is actually on the whiteboard as a screenshot on the whiteboard. So. Again, this is for business applications mostly, so this could be in a conference room somewhere, and now I have all these files that I've been working with, and I have them all saved to my thumb drive. Everything's great, and now I want to leave. What's really great about this machine is that once I shut this down, it erases everything. So the next person coming up has no access to my files. They're gone. 
So once I do the shutdown on this, we're clear. So I want to thank Rico for bringing us the whiteboard to use today. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, leave some comments below, and I'll see you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.